In this video, I'm gonna show you nothing over settings that honestly, I had no idea existed. I mean, I've been using this phone ever since it launched and I've come across some really cool hidden settings and features in Nothing OS and some of them are controversial ones, some unlock cool features and there's one Nothing OS setting that you need to disable right away. I mean, how could even Nothing add this? And no, I'm not talking about the usual wallpaper effects lost in widgets. Nah, nah, this is not that video. Yeah. This is Rupesh from Silicon. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's a new channel. And let me start with my favorite hidden setting in Nothing OS. And I'm not sure if you're aware, but Nothing OS has a one handed mode, which you can turn on from the settings page like this. And it works well, bringing the whole UI down when you swipe down at the bottom. But this is not my favorite trick. The trick is in the one handed mode settings, there is an option to show notifications. And this lets you access the notification anywhere by just swiping down at the bottom. And by anywhere, I mean this even works in app. So no more reaching for the top. Another very useful but kind of unknown nothing over setting is the fact that you can change what happens when you double click the power button. See, like a lot of phones, when you double tap on the power button, the camera opens up. But in Nothing OS, you can set it to anything, be it Torch, video camera, DND. But the cool part is, you can set this to open up any app, and not just the app, but a shortcut in the app. So I've set it to open the Google Pay QR code scanner, which makes paying for groceries and stuff super quick. The next setting is something that Nothing OS has borrowed from other Android skins, but it's very useful, and I had no idea Nothing OS had this feature. Look, I'm talking about the ability to take partial screenshots with a three finger press and hold gesture yeah it works and it's great because you don't have to take a screenshot crop it but it's turned off by default so you need to enable it from here in the settings now one stock android feature that a lot of android skins just skip move it to the side is notification history and i'm just glad that nothing OS has it see this is present here in the settings and when you turn it on this will actually let you see older notifications and this is useful for when you accidentally swipe away all your notifications then then realize there was one important notification let's face it this happens with everyone now one new option in Nothing OS has been slightly controversial. So I'm not sure if you know, but Nothing OS recently got an updated recorder widget, which now has two options. And it's the second option here that has led to a lot of debates. And this new widget actually lets you record calls. And by calls, I mean any call, WhatsApp call, Instagram call, Messenger call. This records everything without any announcement or beep. All you need to do is hit this widget when someone is praising you and it will start recording and save it in the recorder app in high quality. Yeah, it actually works great for all the praises that you receive, but like I said, a little controversial. Now what's not controversial is the fact that nothing OS lets you hide apps. All you need to do is go to the app drawer, swipe left like this, and you will see the hidden app section where you can hide all your creepy apps, you pervert. I mean, you can just hit the edit button and add any apps you want to hide. And I like that it's not a gentle swipe or accidental swipe. You have to swipe left properly. Now, what would be even better if I could log this hidden apps page, but that's not present here. So hopefully the next Nothing OS update brings this. Anyway, you can lock individual apps. I mean, I mostly assume stock Android skins do not have an app locker, and I assumed it here. And turns out this has features like app cloning and app locks. So you can actually lock apps. So basically lock the app, hide it, total privacy. Now, one thing I used to be super annoyed by in Nothing OS is when you set up your brand new Nothing phone, you choose the Nothing OS monochrome look, it looks nice and unified, but then you open up the app drawer and you see that not all apps support the monochrome icon theme and things just look weird. Turns out there's a very simple fix for that. All you need to do is go to customization, go to icon pack, tap on add, and install the official Nothing icon pack. And now all icons have the monochrome look clean and unified. Not sure why Nothing just doesn't pre-install this. Okay, so one of the coolest things about Nothing OS are its plethora of widgets. Plethora, nice word. But one thing people don't know is that this camera widget here, really cool looking, is actually customizable and super useful. You can edit this widget to actually choose the camera mode here, be the usual photo mode, video, portrait, anything, and it will show the equivalent focal length of the camera. You can even change the label, the lens you want, HDR settings, so that you can use this widget to quickly take photos in the mode you use the most, even if it's selfies. No judging. Okay, so the one Nothing OS setting that you need to turn off right now. And this one is for Nothing Phone 2 users. And I'm talking about the RAM booster feature. I mean, we all know RAM booster as this one big gimmick in the smartphone world. So when Nothing included it, I was like, what the f yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you can turn this off in the settings right here because honestly, I tried it out and the performance actually felt a little degraded with it. So yeah, turn it off. And while you're at it, also try turning on. Also try hitting the subscribe button because we are new here and hit the bell icon because we're making some fun videos. 
you'll agree no ah, okay if you also know any other nothing or trick that we might have missed out on any other setting comment down below and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one